Alright, so hey everybody, this is LD, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Podcast Addict app today, which you can get on the uh, Google Play Store. Now, yeah, ad settings, blah, 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 no thanks, don't want ad settings. Now, what you're looking at here are all the um, podcasts that I currently have downloaded to my um, phone. The first thing I want to show you is how to make it so you are downloading you want to make sure that you're downloading the episodes to your SD card not the actual phone card so if you have an SD card with your phone this is the proper way to do this and this will save a lot of space on your actual phone because as we all know some of these podcasts get pretty big so what we're gonna do here is you're gonna click on the little three dots here it's gonna open up this Thing. you're gonna go to the app settings here and um, download option and uh, where is it storage folder you're gonna click here and you're gonna put on removable SD card and that way all the um, downloaded podcasts are gonna go to your removable SD card instead of the internal memory which is usually a lot less okay so we're gonna go back to the menu main menu now now what you're looking at are all the podcasts that I currently have downloaded on my um, phone you see the little I thing here if you click this it's going to show you every podcast that you have download it. If you click it again, it's going to hide the ones that you've already played. So this is a way to make hidden make a it helps you let's see how do you say this? It helps you um, decide which ones you've already played and which ones you haven't. So but if you are unsure if you've played one or not, you click this and it's off. If you've already played it, it will disappear. Um so when you click on one of these you're gonna get the list of the podcasts that you have downloaded currently I have a bunch of them but when you look at a podcast that you've already played you'll see a little green arrow a green check mark right here next to the picture this means that it's already been played since it's already been played there's no reason to keep it now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to delete it. Even though it's on your external hard drive and there's a lot more room there, it's not good to keep these things around. It clutters up things. So you're going to want to click on the three dot ellipsis over here and you're going to want to put, press delete episode. It's going to delete it and you're going to see the icon here is going to turn from this triangle to this download button thingy here so that means it's off your phone and if you wanted to you could download it again by pressing this little button so we'll, we'll delete a few of them here since I've already played a bunch of these oops I pushed a button wrong Now, I haven't figured out a way to make the ones that you've already played disappear permanently from your list. So the best way to make the ones that you've already played go away is to press on this icon here and they will disappear. Now, you'll see next to this, there's this checkbox, checkmark button. If you click this, it's going to say select episodes. Now, this is, means you're allowed to select more than one episode at the current time when you have this mode on so you can go boom 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 you click on a whole bunch of them if they have the check mark now on the picture that means you've clicked on it if you press this button here it will delete them if you press this one here it will give you other options you can make a playlist with them you can mark them as played you can favorite them you can select all by pressing this and it will select every one of them or you can select none and it will unselect everyone to get out of this, all you have to do is click on the checkbox check mark again, and it will go back to the main men the main menu screen here. 
And as for the uh, ellipsis, there's a whole shitload of stuff here that I'm not really going to get into because you don't really need to understand it. Um, here is another option to sort. You can um, sort by how old the podcast is, by the down if it was downloaded or not downloaded, if you have favorited it or not, if it's currently in play which means you've paused it for now. Um, so there's many things you can do with that. This, so finally, we'll go back here to the main menu. Now, to get back to the main menu, you're going to want to go here and you're going to want to press on Podcasts. And it's going to bring you back to the main menu here. Now, to add a new podcast, you're going to click on the plus button here. Now, you're going to get this list of things to do. I mean, if you know what you're looking for, you can get some stuff through here. Discover, if you click on this one here, it's going to show you a whole bunch of podcasts that are out there. And if any of them interest you, you can look through them and download them as you wish. Um, but I have found that the best way to find podcasts is by word of mouth and by what other podcasts advertise. So, do as you will. Anyway, so you go here, you click here, you're going to go to add search engine here, you're going to click on that, it's going to give you a box that's going to, you're, you're going to want to type some stuff into. So we're going to type in small town horror. If it'll catch up with me. There we go. And it's going to show small town horror and there's some extra episodes down here. You can click on it. It's going to bring you to this page. If you subscribe to a podcast, it will give you updates depending on your settings when there are new ep there are new episodes. If you don't subscribe to it and you just want specific ones, you can click on the button where it says 38 episodes. It'll be different per podcast, but you click here and it's going to retrieve all the episodes. Once the episodes have been retrieved, see I've got a bunch of them ready, so we'll go down to the one place. You'll, you can click on the button here, and it will begin to download the episode. You'll see this blue thing start to fill up. When it's done, the phone usually will make a beeping noise telling you that it's downloaded, and you can start playing it from there, or you can go back to the main menu and go from there and download and play from here as usual. Anyway, I think that's about it for now, but that's the basic gist of how to use Podcast Addict. There are a whole shitload of options with this program that you don't really need to worry about at this time if you're just a generic user, but if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to help you. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.